your guide to voting in 2022. Will there still be an Emergency Accessible Polling Place, or EAPP, this coming elections? Yes, there will be 2,050 EAPPs nationwide to help PWDs, senior citizens, and heavily pregnant women voting in multi-level voting centers or single-story voting centers with steep terrains. EAPPs will be set up in all regions of the country except Regions 1, 2, and 3. Satellite EAPPs will also be put up in three facilities that cater to senior and PWD voters, namely, Hospicio de San Jose in Manila, Tahan ng Walang Hagdanan in Cainta Rizal, and the National Vocational Rehabilitation Center in Quezon City. Voters residing in these three facilities do not have to go elsewhere to cast their votes. How long will EAPPs remain open? EAPPs will be open from 6 a.m. to 5 p.m. They will close two hours early than the regular polling places to give enough time for the chairs of the electoral boards to insert all the ballots accomplished in the EAPPs into their respective VCMs. However, like in regular voting, if there are still PWD, senior, or heavily pregnant voters waiting in line within 30 meters of the EAPP by 5 p.m., they will be listed and allowed to vote sequentially. Who may avail of EAPPs? EAPPs are for the benefit of PWD, senior, and heavily pregnant voters. Only they may vote in EAPPs. However, for PWD and senior voters who have previously chosen to vote in accessible polling places or APPs during the registration period, they will not be allowed to vote in EAPPs. Instead, they will be directed to their designated polling places because APPs have all the accessibility features of EAPPs. Who is considered a heavily pregnant voter? These are voters who are six months on the family way. I am a PWD, but you won't know this at first glance. Do I need to bring proof of my disability in order to vote in an EAPP? If you're not registered as a PWD voter, you will need to bring proof of disability if your disability is non-manifest. This is to avoid any complication. However, if you're already registered as a PWD voter, or your disability is manifest, then there's no need to bring proof. By the way, please note that persons suffering from mental health problems, cancer or rare diseases, many of which are non-manifest, are now also considered as PWDs under new laws and therefore can vote in EAPPs. Recently, I figured in a motorcycle accident and used crutches but I still don't have my PWD ID card. Can I vote in an EAPP? Yes, voting in an EAPP does not require prior registration as a PWD voter. So long as the voter has a disability, he or she can generally vote in an EAPP. For persons with temporary disability, you can vote in an EAPP as long as the disability persists at the time of voting and is manifest. Please check out our other video on what to bring in case of non-manifest disabilities. Can you personally feed your ballot in an EAPP? No, an EAPP is technically not a polling place, so it does not have its own vote counting machine or VCM. An EAPP is merely a facility to provide an easy way to vote for PWD, senior and heavily pregnant voters who may have difficulty negotiating staircases or steep terrains leading to their polling assignment. What is the voting procedure in EAPPs? First, locate the EAPP which is usually near the entrance and with a big signage that you can't miss. Once inside, an EAPP support staff will ask for your name and precinct number. It's better if you know this beforehand. You can check our other video on how to know your precinct number based on your Comelec voter ID number. Aside from your ID, 
the EAPP staff will check your four finger for any indelible ink marks to see if you have previously voted. If there's none, the support staff will start to explain the special voting procedure in EAPPs. Essentially, they will tell you that you will only be able to cast your vote, but not insert the ballot into the VCM or vote counting machine. If you don't agree with this, and you want to personally insert your ballot into the VCM, then the support staff will give you directions on how to reach your assigned polling place, and you may now leave the EAPP. On the other hand, if you're okay with the EAPP procedure, then you will be asked to fill up an authorization form. This will allow the support staff to pick up your ballot from your polling place. And oh, by the way, you can get a copy of the authorization form a day before elections to cut the waiting time. After you've signed the form, one of the support staff will proceed to pick up your ballot. Note that this might take several minutes because there are ballots from other PWD and senior voters that the support staff may need to get. Upon return, the ballot will be inspected for any markings. If there's none, it will be placed inside a folder and handed to you together with a marker. At this point, you will be ushered to the designated seats for you or your assister to begin voting. In case you need an assister but don't have one, or your assister is not qualified to help you, the EAPP support staff can provide the necessary assistance in filling up the ballot. Don't be afraid to ask. By the way, we have another video explaining who are qualified to assist PWD and senior voters on election day. After casting your vote, you will return the filled up ballot to the EAPP support staff who will put it inside a secured envelope. Don't worry, even if you don't see it, the ballots will be fed into the VCM before the closing and your vote will be counted. You will now be asked to sign or thumb mark the Election Day Computerized Voters List or EDCVL for EAPPs. The support staff will then put indelible ink on one of your forefingers to indicate that you've already voted. Congratulations! You have successfully voted. You may now leave the EAPP. What are the advantages and disadvantages of voting in an EAPP? Advantages EAPPs are located in the most accessible area of the voting center with big signages. The facilities here are the most accessible, with enough adult seating, sufficient ventilation and lighting, and other accessibility features. Second, you do not have to negotiate the staircases to vote. An EAPP support staff will act as your runner to retrieve and return the ballot for you. Third, EAPP support staff are trained to be sensitive to the needs of senior, PWD, and heavily pregnant voters and will assist you every way they can. Disadvantages An EAPP is not a polling place, so it has no vote counting machine or VCM. You will not be able to insert your ballot into the VCM or see it inserted by the electoral board chair. EAPPs also cater mainly to PWD and senior citizens. Since everyone has priority, voters in EAPPs are accommodated on a first-come, first-served basis. Third, a single polling place only caters to all the voters clustered in that room, about 800 in all, spread across the whole day. On the other hand, an EAPP caters to all senior and PWD voters in that voting center. This can run into thousands in big voting centers. This is the reason why voting in EAPPs took several hours in some areas in 2019. However, beginning with this election, Comelec has allowed the early distribution of EAPP authorization forms so these can be filled up ahead of time and cut the waiting. Also, there will be more support staff assigned in EAPPs this year, so voting is expected to move significantly faster in EAPPs. 
The reality, though, is that some regular polling places are located in upper floors, and the staircases and corridors used are too narrow and crowded. Also, the facilities used on Election Day are designed for small children, not the elderly, and are not suitable for wheelchair users, so the decision on whether to avail of an EAPP or not is up to the voter. We have a separate video on how best to prepare before Election Day for a safer and more accessible voting experience. I am a PWD or senior voter. If the lines at the EAPP are long, can I vote in my regular polling place instead? Voting by PWD, senior or heavily pregnant voters in EAPPs is optional. If you're already assigned in an accessible polling place or APP, that means your polling place is already located at the ground floor with all the accessibility features you'll need. In fact, they won't let you vote in an EAPP. On the other hand, if you're not assigned in an APP, you can choose to vote in the EAPP or your regular voting place. You might want to consider the following. How far is your polling place from the entrance? Is it located in the upper floors? And are you healthy enough to get there? How long is the waiting time at the EAPP? Do you want to personally insert your ballot into the VCM? Ultimately, it's your choice. I want to vote in an EAPP, but I also want to personally feed my ballot into the VCM. Can this be done? No. Currently, if you're a PWD, senior, or heavily pregnant voter, and you feel strongly about inserting your ballot into the VCM, it is better to just vote directly at your assigned polling place. However, this means you will likely have to take the stairs to your polling place if you're in a multi-level voting center. Just keep that in mind. I am assisting my parent, who is a senior citizen. Can I also vote in an EAPP? If you're not a senior citizen or PWD as well, you cannot vote in an EAPP. Unfortunately, this type of accommodation for assisters is not yet allowed under current laws. What's my guarantee that the Electoral Board will insert my ballot into the VCM when I vote in an EAPP? The COMELEC has procedures for accountability to ensure that every vote cast in an EAPP is counted. The Electoral Board Chair keeps track of every ballot taken out of the polling place for use in EAPPs, records it in the minutes, and ensures that all ballots are accounted for at the end of the day. The Electoral Board and the EAPP staff also maintain separate records, so the ballots are tallied. Lastly, there are poll watchers from citizen groups like the PPCRV and other political parties to ensure that electoral fraud is minimized if not avoided. Can the EAPP runner tamper my vote? It will be an election offense if the runner does so. However, the best deterrent is for every citizen to report any person seen filling up ballots outside the EAPP or any of the designated polling places. By the way, if you've voted before, you know how big the ballots are, so you'd know if someone is filling up a ballot outside designated polling places. Vote safe, Pilipinas!